selling services. Now, selling services is probably the best way to monetize your YouTube channel because you can use your YouTube channel to advertise the fact that you're selling services. I personally sell services. That is my business. Um, I've got growonyoutube.com. I sell consulting. I do video SEO. I help people with their YouTube channel. So if you want to purchase you know, one of my services, go to growonyoutube.com. And basically, this is the core of most businesses, like either selling services or goods. And <laughs> that's probably the best way to make a business, to actually sell something. So these are ty some of the services that you could be selling. You could be selling video editing services because if you're a gaming YouTuber or a YouTuber in general, you're gonna need to learn how to edit video. So once you get to the point where you think, you know, you're editing video good enough, you can start selling your services to people who can't edit whatsoever. And when you get good, you can start selling your services to people who are editing, you know, good enough. So that's the way you can do it. You can start low and then go high. You can also do graphic design. If you've been making thumbnails, um, and you, you're pretty good at it. You can sell those abilities to other people who need design jobs. Obviously, I wouldn't suggest trying to apply for an ad campaign or anything like that unless you spent like hours and hours of getting good at graphic design. But if you're okay and you can make good thumbnails, you might be able to sell that service to other people who need thumbnails but don't have the, the talent or the time to actually make those themselves. And you can sell anything, basically anything that you've learned from making YouTube videos, filming, uh, color correction, anything that you've done on your YouTube channel that you've, any skill that you've acquired in, um, in service to making your YouTube channel better is a skill that you can sell to someone else. So anything that you've learned over the past year or past two years that you have become competent at, think about it, like list it down, write a list of skills that you've gained or skills that you have, like any skills that you have and Google those skills. Google those skills and see who else is selling those services. And if there's a bunch of people selling those services, then you could probably sell them too. And if no one's selling those services, there's a gap in the market, you can sell that. So it's, it's happy days to be honest. As I said, anything, anything that you're good at and you need a website. You definitely need a website. If you want to sell services and you want to do this long term, I would suggest getting a website. You can obviously use sites such as Fiverr or Freelancer or sites that, that allow you to post up jobs or Gumtree or something like that to sell your services. Or you can just talk to people direct and get them to pay you via PayPal. But it is really good to have a website that explains your services, like my website, explains all my services, and it allows people to visit it when I'm not about and purchase services, when I'm not there to actually talk to them and conversate with them and let them know what the service is about. So you really need a website, you need a hub, for your services and for all the stuff that you do on the internet. So I'd really suggest doing that. If you're watching the replay of this video, I will have a uh, link to my hosting uh, service in the description below. Not my personal hosting service, but the hosts that I have for my YouTube channel, that is TSO host. But I don't have the affiliate link, link in there right now if you're watching live. But if you're watching live and you wanna help out the channel and you believe that you wanna uh, set up a website, then join the Facebook group and let me know and I'll send you the link after or you can just wait until the stream is done and I'll put it in there. But definitely get a website ASAP. As I said, you can use freelancing websites, and if you don't, if you don't have the money to get a website, then that's probably the the place you should start out. But long term, you definitely want a website so that you have somewhere where you can control. It's definitely not great to rely on other websites and other companies to host, you know, something that determines your monthly income or your yearly income or your income in general you really want something that you can control so if fiverr shuts down or if youtube shuts down you've got your website you can continue moving so that is the end is that the end yeah <laughs> that is the end of this presentation i hope it helped you guys out i hope you learned a bunch of stuff 
and I hope you learned how to monetize your channel or how to make more money from your YouTube gaming channel. You can download this presentation by clicking on the link in the description. And you can also download your free SEO for noobs checklist in the description below. This checklist will help you make sure that you're optimizing every video that you're putting out. So you're giving it the best chance to rank in search and the best chance to get more views and subscribers. So definitely click on that link and grab that. And yeah, that's the end of that. I guess we can let's bring up OBS again. And I'll bring up the stream and I'll answer questions. Let's see what is in here. So we had a few trolls. If you got any questions, let me know now. I will answer. Hey, Charles, please. <clears throat> hey, J Bean Lit. You're on what streams? I don't know what you're on about. What notification? Notification? What the fuck is that? My video has been exporting for over five hours. Made a typo, so I had to re-export so long. Ah, oh, that's terrible. So, do we have any questions? When someone joined Discord, which method do I think is best? AdSense? No, I definitely said AdSense was the worst. I remember saying that. Like That's probably the worst way you can make money because it relies on you bringing in consistent views and stuff like that. Like You can do that. I believe AdSense should be used in conjunction with creating an actual business. You need to think of your YouTube channel as an actual business. You don't want to just be putting out videos for the sake of putting out videos. And some people will try and persuade you to do that. I believe someone commented in the stream saying, oh, so you do it for the money. No, that is not, that's not the point. You need to be able to make money to continue doing something you love. You love, you can, you know, go out and do something you love and make no money and die and not be able to feed yourself if you want, but that's, that's fucking stupid. Yeah? So you want to be able to make money to continue doing what you want and to continue like generally helping people and getting your message out there and doing, you know, finding, well, getting out the why you do it or fulfilling the why you do this stuff. So as I said, making a, like setting up a business where you can actually sell a product or service makes the most long-term sense, as you said, and it's definitely the best way and the way that I'd suggest everyone to go down. Obviously, some people aren't just gonna aren't gonna have the mind for it because you need to be an entrepreneur to succeed doing something like that. But you need to be an entrepreneur to succeed doing YouTube at the end of the day. So I'd suggest you think about it like a business. You try and start a business and you see what you can do to change your YouTube channel into a business that is actually consistent and allows you to cons consistently and continue putting out uh, content and keep your YouTube channel alive. Pearson's by I says AdSense can be good for the short term when you're getting views. AdSense is good for the long term as well. You can you can make money with AdSense. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you don't make any money with AdSense. You do. You do make money with AdSense. But you don't want to focus on AdSense. You want to be able to build something that you can control and you can create a you know user base for and something that is consistent because AdSense is definitely not consistent and that is relying on the YouTube gods favoring you basically. So I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely wouldn't do that. Maybe you should do some business one on ones. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a business tips and stuff like that. But oh shit, it's starting to get dark now, isn't it? It's looking darker on my stream. <laughs> I am going to do some business tips and that sort of stuff 
but I just wanted to get out the basic stuff first so people can actually set up their YouTube channel and they can start getting it into a place where they can start, you know, thinking about it like a business and turning it into a business. Because there's a bunch of people out there that, you know, they come to one of my videos and they don't even have playlists on their channel or they don't even have a banner or a thumbnail or, you know, that sort of stuff. So I really want to make sure that everyone has the correct foundation to start turning it into a business. So I'm trying to get those videos out to allow everyone to get to that point and then I'll start getting the entrepreneurship videos out, the business videos, the marketing videos, all that sort of stuff should be coming shortly. So be sure to subscribe. I was gonna say turn on my light. I know just meant as in don't rely on income long term as things can change. Yeah, so <laughs> there's no point turning on the light now because that's going to be the end of the stream. But thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to download the presentation and your SEO checklist uh, down below. And I'll see you guys in the next stream.